you guys are? Never young. Never young. Welcome to Music City SF. Uh, it's a hotel. Have rehearsal spaces in there, a venue in there, a radio station in there. It's gonna be like uh, a lot bigger. Just want to see the inside then? Yeah, let's go. Okay. So this is the hotel portion. Oh, I'm getting to that big Billy Joel culture up there, right? Oh, man. Dude, that's crazy. Oh, Metallica. That's I think he's that big Well, you got Robert Scott. Trujillo in there. <laughs> that's huge, dude. God, can you imagine, dude? This 45,000 screaming fans. No, dude. This gold? What <laughs> 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 about this? <laughs> New phone is this. I don't even know where that I calls to. I might come here for a second. Hi, Peter. Session. There you go. What's up, dude? This is being recorded. Peter, he runs the rehearsal space downstairs. What's up, guys? You're on, Peter. Kevin. Hi. Peter, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Hey, Chris. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Nick. You guys in a band? It's called Never Young. Never Young. Yeah. Nice. Describe your describe your music in uh, three words. Oh, Man, you're not, giving, you're not giving me an interview. <laughs> describe your practice space in three words. Uh, amazing, cheap, professional. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Well done. I'd yeah. say we, we would use the exact same three words. Where's the next show? Uh, Uno del Sol. Oh, hell yeah, I'm going. Dude, 2.30 p.m., baby. 2.30 p.m.? Bring your lawn chair. And the lineup is... Yeah. <laughs> it's good, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a good we, one this year. We talk about... Yeah, it's gonna be good. DOCs. DOCs, yeah, Jason. Legend Lil Band. Key, uh, Tino Dreamo. Uh, Bell's yeah. Atlas, too. Bell's Atlas. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Um, every hallway has unique music artwork. That's unique. Yeah. Where is your guys' band from? Uh... uh we all live in S7 Oakland. How do you guys decide where to practice? Uh, the place that we pay to practice is Oakland. In, uh, Oakland Music Oakland. Oakland. It's Oakland, yeah. I don't see you. And it's like a majority. It's like a majority thing. Like they're all in Oakland. You get to be. You get to be the main main person in this shot. Fuck y'all. That's really hot right now. It's like how you pack up your amp when you put it in the. Uh, Van, you know, you put it in the fucking metal. Yeah, this is all ant material. This is all state of the art ant material, man. That was one of the office apples, right? Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> they just started doing that. I guess it's maybe a Fillmore thing. Or like, let's have apples. Oh, yeah, the, the, uh, mm. the LSD infused apples. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. I think the coolest part about going to the Fillmore is going upstairs to the balcony and seeing all the posters. All the like the history? bands, yeah, like, all the shows that have happened there like over like, the last like, 20 years. Do Eric you guys Bobby. know um, Travis Hayes? He's playing the Fillmore Friday, and that's the thing he's excited about. He's like, I'm gonna have a poster in the poster room. Ah. Yeah, that's huge, man. Yeah. It's like, and it's a big cool. build. Yeah. It's, it's a big build. It is. Let's go down another hallway. Let's keep yeah, walking. Sure. Um, so, how long has uh, Never Young been a band? Uh, about three years now. What were you guys doing before that? He and I, and our, <laughs> and our lost homie. Uh, <laughs> have been playing music together since we were all like 16 and Kevin is from like the Fresno area Orange Cove and different bands before this different bands before this yeah which ones we are actually all in the same band all four of us are in another band besides Never Young What's called that? Tiny Head okay. it's us plus Oliver O'Haver just in between in between projects Nick and I would start writing songs and uh, a few years later, we you know linked up with Jeff and Kevin, and now we're doing the deal here. Nice. We we've been working on a full length for a long time. Mm -hmm. We had like one version of it that we ended up like not being in love with, and just kind of like scrapped everything. And then with Jeff and Kevin, we've been working on another record. Um, so we've just been kind of hanging out in the bay, you know, doing little excursions. We'd love to make it out to the East Coast. We still we haven't done anything like that, you know. Yeah, so over like the last three years, we've been slowly uh, been able, like, been able to access like new opportunities, like really gradually, you know, like every couple of months, it's like, oh, you want to try this thing? It's like, oh yeah, sure. And it's like now, it's like, do you want to, you know, do Fun of Del Sol? Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. So, just been like trudging along and doing our thing and having fun. And, yeah. Yes. Yeah, change. Yeah. How do you stay? How do you stay uh, emotionally? Let's go with emotionally first. How do you stay emotionally fit in a tour? You don't. <laughs> you got you just no fucking way. Yeah, yeah you don't. You, gotta, you just gotta run yourself into the ground, sure. and then you. Souvenirs. Then <laughs> I mean, bring bring something to do, like bringing something you can do by yourself is like a great thing. Like a book is is great. A fidget spinner. Yes. How do you avoid eating fast food while on tour? You don't. No, you don't. You don't do it. You basically just drive your physical and like spiritual state as far down until you're like scraping the earth. 
and, and then you and then you like have your um, you like breakthrough and you're like I need to make a change. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you start eating healthy food in like the last week. Yeah, it's just about stockpiling all the good things that you can get your hands on while you can, and then rationing it throughout the rest of the trip. So it's a lot of like like beating up band members who try to steal your uh, juice or yeah, you your like a, you got like a, I feel like we all share. Yeah, yeah we, we share. We share like like Trader Joe's snacks and stuff. And we always stock up at Trader Joe's before we nice. go. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Trader Joe's. Yeah, Whole yeah, Trader Joe's. Um, you already went and saw the rehearsal space, but I feel like that's another cool spot to... That'd be cool. Maybe we'll find your other bandmate. That sounds like a band-oriented thing. Yeah, right. Yeah, I know. I feel like all the musicians that I look like, like, nobody smokes. Still don't have them? No, he's like, I don't know. Did you check outside too or no? So, if you've never been here before, these are all rehearsal spaces. Let's see if this one has anybody in it. Like, what's the goal for Fono del Sol? Sol goal? Yeah, Fono, Fono del Sol goal. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Sol goal. I want to just hang out with my friend's Jason. We're gonna be louder than uh, we're gonna be louder than the OCs. Okay, yeah, that is the goal. Everybody always tells us that we need to play quieter, but then we see bands like the OCs and they're so loud. Yeah, they're want so to be that unapologetically loud. loud. And so our sole our sole goal for this year is to out uh, outdo the OCs, out volume, out decibel the OCs. This room is yours now. Ten. From now on, your band has three members. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you got cut. You got cut. Yeah, you got cut from the band. So, um, how many albums do you guys have out? Zero. We have like three EPs. Okay. How many songs are on your EPs? Uh, I don't know, five or six. What? Uh, can you each have a favorite song, or do you have to have all have the same favorite song? We each, no, have, each have our own. Yeah. I don't know. It's probably not on any of the EPs now. Our new record. Yeah, on the new record, I like to play. Uh, it's called Access. Is that across the board? Is everybody agreeing on that one? Or I like no? that one. All right. But I like uh, <laughs> the, newer, the newer songs that we're making that are called Untitled 6 and Untitled 1. Untitled 6? Oh, that's just what I'm calling it, Dan. What cities have you been to and what cities do you want to go to? You can go like states if you want. Everywhere on the West Coast, really. To Denver. I want to play in New York and Miami. I want to play in Florida somewhere. Like a cool Florida show. That was, <laughs> I want to see that, what that I is. I want to play the South. Uh, Philly. You know, yeah, yeah, Philly. East Coast. Montreal. All the, all the smaller towns where, you know, kids don't get to go and see like big giant concerts or like have the cool venues like we do out here. Like it's smaller, like, you know, smaller markets to get like the, the younger, the, the small, like the, the small town kids, you know. That's mm-hmm. like, that's me. Nice. I didn't have this when I was growing up, so it'd be cool to like. Go and rock the little basements in the smaller towns. Orange Cove. Um, what's something that uh, that that people should know about your band? Uh, we're here to spread love, and peace, and unity. I don't know if you heard. It's peace, love, unity, and respect. We're here to spread peace, love, unity, and respect. Nice. Yeah. What's your social media, and where can we find you online? At never dot young on Instagram. At never young number one m i l as in million one mil. Never young, one mil, and then um, that's Twitter. That's yeah. Twitter, and then uh, Facebook is just never young. Never young. It was um, it was nice to have you guys here. Thanks. Uh, minus the the bandmate that disappeared. <laughs> Check out. Jeff, Here's the thing. Yeah. The place never young the plus the guy that's here. missing. He's yes. Be careful. Where did he go? Yeah, he's gone. He got sucked up by the ghost. <laughs> nice.